In case you didn't see my last um, anti-doll, anti-haul, I just want you to know, like, in no way am I saying you're an idiot if you want to buy these things, that um, you're stupid for spending your money on some of the dolls that I bring up in here. Like, I'm just trying to, you know, talk myself out of spending so much money because we are just getting bombarded with dolls and I don't know if it's because, like, the pandemic set so much back, but now they can get stuff up and running and producing again, so they're just throwing stuff at us and hoping it sticks to the wall. And this is gonna be, like, a weird anti-haul because I had to dig a little deeper for stuff that's coming out because, you know, Pat Pouchelet, Millet, um, her Instagram is shut down. <laughs> But she does have a YouTube channel, which I will link down below, and her blog is back up, which is great. So she's still out there and everything, like, giving us information. It's just in a different format. And I'm really glad that she's back. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing another anti-doll anti-haul. And for those of you that don't know and didn't see my last anti-haul, it is a way to kind of counteract the insane amount of consumerism that's kind of forced on us by um, companies like Mattel, Disney, NGA, Hasbro, all those companies that are just like, buy, 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 you need to buy this, you need to buy this. <clears throat> and anti hauls were popularized by Kimberly Clark, who is a drag queen and activist, all around good person, and big on anti-consumerism, not falling for the marketing, and stuff like that. I actually watch a lot of Abby Williamson, who is very much anti-consumerism, anti-establishment, like, um, you know, eat the rich. Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right, right. And she's the one that inspired me to make anti-consumerism content in the doll community because I feel like Anti-consumerism in the doll world isn't something that's really talked about a lot. Most of the accounts I follow on Instagram are like, oh, you need to buy this, and they'll have like links and everything, and maybe they're affiliate links, I don't know. With the holidays coming up and everything, I thought it would be a really good idea to kind of curb some of our spending habits and talk ourselves out of some stuff. And I have a lot of products right here in my email that we're just gonna go through and everything, and um, you know, me being a broke college student now, um, anti-consumerism and spending my money wisely on dolls is something I need to do. Although I did just spend money on that new holiday Ariel doll, like I, I couldn't help myself. So she's on her way. We'll do an unboxing. Okay guys, so why don't we just get right into it. And I think one of my first things is that Disney Store Comfy Princess uh, mini doll set. I've actually bought this and when it first came out like two years ago, something like that. They're cute little six inch dolls and they are posable and everything and they have like bend and snap knees and stuff like that. But the reason I'm anti-hauling this is because they only added two new dolls and it's just Anna and Elsa. So I don't know why they didn't just sell them separately instead of redoing like a whole kit like we weren't buying this two years ago. Also they did all this rebranding and they didn't fix like Tiana's one wonky eye that's closed and winking at you like uh-uh. Yeah I'm not falling for it and I'll link that video down below but um a lot of the dolls the way they were packaged it ruined like their bends and articulation and everything and Ariel for some reason she came out like stained with red. Um, and not like where her hair was, like on her arms, on her arms and knees. Um, I don't need it and I'm not going to buy it. So apparently this is going to be a Disney anti-haul, even though I just bought that holiday aerial. Um, another thing I'm kind of anti-hauling are all these new Masquerade Villains dolls. Originally they had done this like merch pass thing, which I think is just absolutely stupid. Like just let us buy the damn dolls. Also fix your site's infrastructure. I swear, like they've been doing like designer dolls for years and years and years at this point. And the website crashes or doesn't let you in like every single freaking time. And sometimes people like have it in their cart and lose it. And I just think that's like messed up. And adding this merch pass thing is just stupid to me. Which I, So they got rid of it for Ursula. At the time I'm filming this, Ursula was up this morning. 
um, sold out in 30 minutes. I just don't like having to fight for these dolls and then the scalpers that like resell them are just a bunch of dicks because it's like they're not true fans. They're just doing it because they know they can make money off of it because Disney fans are like desperate for merch and they'll spend like irresponsible amounts of money and it's just um, bad. But I do kind of want Hades just because we haven't done that before. There's some other villains in here we haven't done before either, but I don't really um, care. But Hades is one that I am interested in buying, but everybody else I'm anti-hauling. I don't really need these. They look cool. They're just not for me. Floating around social media are these to the moon dolls? Is that? Yeah. Um, while I think, like, they are cute and they have a really cute aesthetic and everything, the thing that bugs me the most about these is it's a first run of the dolls and they're already skipping out on the details. Usually, like, a first run from a doll line is really good details, articulation, like, fabric, stuff like that. But they've already done, like, painted on legs and everything. This character, I don't know who she is, um, absolutely beautiful, but the ringlets in her hair are actual like plastic pieces. It's not real hair. Like they're already skipping out on details on the first run. And while these dolls are admittedly like adorable and I haven't seen like the show or anything, but the dolls look cool until you get like really close on the details. And I just, I don't need them. The only thing I might want is like the green dress off this doll and that would be it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you guys, if you haven't seen, I'll link this video down below too, but um, Adam and I from The Dollist, we did <sighs> the mermaid color reveal dolls and that's the first time I've ever done color reveal dolls. I've seen videos on them and I always thought they were like massively cheap um, and then you get them and you find out that yes, they are, absolutely. And if Mattel's not up a influencer's ass, then you'd get like a more honest review on how they are. But I think they're way too much money. They're like $15 and that's way too much um, for what you're getting out of it. But this monstrosity is coming out. And while I think like all the accessories are really cool and everything, um, it's $50. Like, who asked for that, you know? And is it, like, are all the accessories, like, dipped in paint, or is it just the dolls? Like, from this picture, it looks like it's just the dolls. Yeah, like, the idea of camping and having, like, a little sleeping bag is cute and everything, but, um, I, I don't know. I don't... I love mermaids, and the Color of Ville mermaids just weren't, like, insanely impressive to me. So, I don't know, I don't need more color reveal stuff, but apparently it's selling because they keep making it. We have the Black Widow dolls, which um, none of us would have known were coming out if Papushile Mille hadn't um, posted them on her Instagram before it got taken down. Uh, nobody was telling us about these dolls, and then while they look really good from a distance and in the promo images, they do have pixel face. I saw several people post theirs online showing the pixelation. All I think that these are like badass, and the face sculpt does actually kind of look like Scarlett Johansson. I'm not gonna pay that much for pixel face, like that's just, come on. While the suit does look really badass, all those little lines and everything on it, you know, it's it's just printed on details. It's not, I don't know. Um, in the promo image, she does look bitchin', but I've seen how they look in real life and no thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is what I would call um, a gimmick, 100%. So Mattel thinks we're dumb or something. And let me just say, um, I would buy this. I would buy this if it didn't cost what it costs. What it costs is absolutely stupid considering the material it's made out of and it's a pre-order. So they know exactly how many they can sell and it probably costs them like a dollar to make. Let me just preface that. Mattel must think we are stupid 
because they spit out a crystal clear Barbie doll so you can see through one of our your favorite toys. They did some other stuff too, like a Hot Wheels car and then I think like Skeletor from uh, Masters of the Universe. I think they did a Magic 8 Ball also. But, <laughs> oh my God, if this was like $25, then yes, I would probably buy it because it is a cool concept. But it is $75. Shit! We're... No, we're not doing that for a crystal clear Barbie that's two seams pushed together. No. Um, and it's pre-order and it's not even available until like next summer. I just... Like, kudos to the people that did get it because it did end up selling out. Like, and like more power to you if this is something you're willing to spend $75 on, but I just, I can't do it. I think it's cool, but I think it's insanely overpriced. I'll stick with my non-see-through bitch. Thank you very much. Okay, so next up is this Afterglow doll from Integrity Toys. And um, she's beautiful. Like, <laughs> Just like anything Integrity Toys spits out, it's absolutely beautiful. But I can't afford this. So that would be why I'm anti-hauling her. While she is insanely gorgeous, um, she looks like a brunette version of that one drag, drag queen Barbie that came out a few years ago that's absolutely beautiful too. I think she's beautiful and she's probably like $200 or $175, and I just can't justify that right now. Um, but she is beautiful, I just, I'm anti-hauling her because there's no way I could afford her. And she's probably like some W Club exclusive or something, so like normal people couldn't buy her anyway. I am anti-hauling this treehouse from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. Um, it is uh, super cute, and I was gonna buy it, and then I realized um, it's not Barbie scale. It's much, much smaller. And it does come with like little dolls, but they're like animals that live in the forest and they're like made of wood. While it is absolutely um, adorable, if that came in Barbie like scale, I would totally buy it. Like if Kidcraft made something like this, 100%. Even at that price range of $120, that is a beautiful little tree house. <laughs> so the next doll, um, this sucks because I would have wanted to buy this concept of a doll, but the execution is horrendous. Now, I'm not 100% sure if, if this is the girl from the TV show Blackish, um, she is absolutely beautiful, but this doll, she isn't. Honestly, I couldn't even tell from the promo images who this was supposed to be, and I don't know the actress's name, so even though it's in like bold pink lettering on the packaging, I didn't know who this was supposed to be. I think it looks close. <laughs> that is not correct. <sighs> the street is so fucking loud. I think she is, um... She looks nothing like the actress. Like, kinda, like I kind of see it, but no. Like, and th that sucks because the outfit's cool and everything and I love that she has like a big old afro, but that face mold is like, did they even ask her like, before they spit this out in public? Like, is that something they do when they do celebrity dolls? They're like, hey, can you approve this face sculpt real quick? Cause whatever they sent her versus like, what she approved must've been two different things. Cause there's no way like, if I were a celebrity, my PR manager would have let this go, you know? I don't know. If you're gonna sell a celebrity's likeness, can it just, you know, look like the celebrity? Thanks. So yeah, I don't need it and I'm not gonna buy it. This has been going around the internet and I, we don't like, it's not confirmed yet. We don't know for sure if he's coming out or anything, but we'll see. And this is supposed to be one of the first LOL OMG boys which I talked about in my last anti haul. Like, I really wish we would start getting going on those because I'm so sick of the LOL OMG dolls. Can't keep up with them. They're spitting out way too many. Um, 
But the boys are something I've wanted since day one of the LOL OMG line coming out. While I think the idea of making him super androgynous is really cool, I like that kind of representation, especially for like in the male rock community, like androgyny, that's totally like a tradition. He's not for me and um, he better come with a penis. That's all I'm saying. Like if they are gonna spit this out, and he's supposed to be part of like the new remix line and he's, I think he's called like Rocker Boy or something like that. Um, he needs to come with a mohawk. Like, if he had a mohawk, I would totally be down with this. I think that would fit the theme a lot more. I don't know. I just hope they come out with more boys. Obviously they will. If they've made one body mold, they're gonna make more. Hopefully in different skin tones. Hopefully we can head swap them and put like Kendall heads on them, but then have different skin tone articulation than what Barbie is giving us for male dolls. Because right now the gradient of male skin tones that is given to us by Barbie with like decent articulation is abysmal and integrity is kicking their ass in that department. I keep seeing like more and more of these show up and I don't know who's buying them, but can you, can you stop please? Like, like, we're good. Like, we don't need to get MGA to keep selling these. And it's these freaking, um, like, LOL JK dolls or whatever, where they're, like, just the short dolls, but then they make them, like, taller. Like, what? Like, who kept asking for these? And now they're coming out with, like, a little playset and whatever, which that's cool. I like the idea of a playset. Um, and in the mini dolls, I do collect the boys, so I do like them to have, like, a home or a playset to play with or something. Um, I even bought that weird shipping container clubhouse, um, and I have like a whole video on it, but YouTube uploaded it weird, so like, none of you have seen it, it's one of my least watched videos. But these LOL JK dolls, they're just, they're so awkward looking, and like, I don't, they're not for me, and I'm sorry if this is like, if you're like, oh yeah, the LOL JK dolls are like the Thing that ever happened to me like they're everything I need and want like hey that's awesome I just I I'm not spending my money on them okay and the final thing that's been leaking around Instagram is these rainbow high um budget dolls like the, they'll be a little more affordable even though the rainbow high dolls are already like pretty affordable um I think individually they're around like 26 dollars $25, um, something like that. I don't know. I blacked out when I bought them. I guess they're coming out with like a cheer series that is very budget friendly. And so far I've only seen Jade and Skylar pop up. So I don't know if they're going to do the whole gradient. They probably will, but I don't know. Um, one thing I would really, really love is if MGA, when they spit out these rainbow high budget dolls, if they included a new character with a deeper skin tone, um, <clears throat> And I've been watching like the Rainbow High um, series because um, weirdly enough, the deeper skin tone characters in the TV show are way deeper than the dolls. Avery Styles, when she comes walking down the hall, she has way, way, way deeper skin than the actual doll. Um, even Matt Sunny is a little bit deeper in the TV show. And I don't know if that's something they did like last minute in editing or something because they were hearing like feedback about the horrible shade range they have in the stall line um but yeah i've been watching the show and it's very um <laughs> it, they're like five minute episodes and there's not like an insane amount of depth but everybody's crazy eyeshadow is fantastic and I thought about doing like a little series where I react to like the episodes and I don't know if I should or not. Like you guys let me know down below in the comments if I should because um, the idea of doing commentary on only like five minutes of content sounds a little um, tedious. <laughs> but yes, anyway, focusing Patrick, focus. Focusing. on these cheerleader budget dolls. While I think they are adorable, I don't know if I want to keep buying Rainbow High dolls until they bring in a deeper skin toned character or um, so far in the TV show, spoiler, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and skip like 30 seconds ahead. 
there's only one male so far in the series and he is um very light-skinned and so the the representation i don't know if i want to like keep buying rainbow high dolls until they start bringing in like somebody deeper than sunny you know so yeah i'm not i don't need it i'm not gonna buy it mm. Okay guys, and that was my um, second anti-doll anti-haul. It was a little weird this time without being able to go to um, Ava's Instagram and look up stuff. There's some other Instagrams that are popping up, like, and I'll link them down below. Like we have a plastic tan, um, Disney 200 still posting stuff, at dollboy29, who I got the Rainbow High cheerleader images from. That's it, that's just to help me kind of curb my stuff there's there's a lot of stuff that's coming out that i do want though so i need to like really buckle down on this one let me know like what you guys want to buy what you aren't buying stuff like that um if there was something in here that you did want to buy just remember like in no way am i calling you an idiot from wanting to spend your money on this stuff or that you're stupid if you do like it's your money i don't give a shit what you do with it like i'm just talking myself out of buying stuff and if it can help somebody else not buy something and save a little money then fantastic i will see you in the next video bye